Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Chrono Cross. Um, I had a rough day, uh, so I just kind of want to get back into uh, a happier spot, which uh, this kind of game really does for me. Uh, if I'm not as talkative or positive as I am normally trying to be, I do apologize for that. I just really, I really want to get on this game again. You know, it, it brings back a lot of great memories of my childhood. And, in itself, it's just a very enjoyable thing. Um, so last time we uh, we finished off with saving Kid, and we, we caught Mel, and then we kind of played around a little bit, showing off uh, other people's tech skills. Um, but for now, what I want to do is put a party uh, together to move forward. Um, so I'm going to keep using. Uh, Kid and Lena for right now. Uh, they should be. They should do just fine. Uh, so we need to go up to Termina, and we need to go visit that island, Hermit's Hideaway. Um, <sighs> a bit tired. It's, it's past midnight. I tried. I tried going to sleep. And I think I fell asleep for five minutes, but then did that that wake up thing and just kind of laid there. And, Kinda got over that one. Uh, so we're gonna go to Hermit's Hideaway and see what exactly is so important about coming here that Glenn uh, made mention of it. Let's go on up to uh, the burned out Hermit's Hideaway actually. What happened here? Did Lynx do this? That's correct, maybe not. The correct answer is, I this is under Monsieur Link's orders. Salut, Monsieur. Did you miss more? Not you again. Tisk tisk, excuse me, Serge, but do you want to know why I burned down this place to the ground? Sure. Well, first of all, to teach you all a lesson. And second of all, to give it to that old geezer that lives here. He is an ally of the Akersha Dragoons, and I hear he is quite skilled. I was disappointed to see that the old geezer isn't here. I wonder where he went. And one more thing, Serge. Monzo and Lynx gave him one more order. That is to slow you down your pursuit. Here I go. And what's that? We're fighting Harold for the first time. Uh, she is a black and eight character, so... <sighs> Thin. Take all the time you wish. So, uh, Surge should do quite well against her. We're obviously going to try to steal from her, and we're going to be horse hockey ish and utilize a safe state to ensure we get that. I will slam her in the face of the meteorite, see what kind of damage that does. Well placed. 1, 2, 3. Do a 1, 2, 3. Alright, get a 1, 2, 2 with Kid. And let's uh, let's try a pill first. See what happens. Let's hit the state state. If it doesn't work, I'll just wait till she starts sagging. But we got it on the first round, the first shot. So that's really cool. Photon beam. That's very good. Uh, so this is her uh, her tech skill, boom beam. And uh, not that strong, surprisingly, because she's actually quite a powerful character, uh, to my knowledge. And I don't think we've seen Aqua Ball after, so let's check that out. I apologize for that. Sundala. Quite good. Quite good. Mon Dui. Moy is defeated. Oh, that was easy. So that was not considered a boss fight, which totally makes sense. So then we also got a. Sure, so your secondary photon beam. Ooh la la, you really are strong, the forte, Serge. Please, Serge, stand back now. It's not happening. She is nothing but bad luck. She will bring you nothing but misfortune on your life. Uh, so we are going to... Old man. Are you one of Lynx's minions? Nope. There it goes, familiar. I believe he is the mayor of our uh, town and homeworld. Actually, I see that you are not. It must have been that munchkin thing that flew away. <laughs> Miss Riddell has informed me that Lynx and the General were heading to Fort Dragonia. 
I played it safe and went into hiding for a while, and it looks like Lynx did pay me a visit. I'm sure the general has no idea what happened to you. Lynx is the one behind all this. I had a feeling something like this might happen. That's why I made sure to build a sturdy stronghold underground. I believe it should still be intact. Are you here to ask me questions? Come, there's no need to be shy. This is Master Radius. Uh, in our home world, he is actually retired from the Acacia Dragoons and uh, the village elder for us in, uh, in Arnie Village. So Photon Beam is at level 3. We're going to slam it down right there. And we're also going to give one to Lena. Because why not? Whew. Girl's gonna have something going for her. I tell you what, boy. Look how slow this old guy walks. So yeah, in, in our home world, he is the elder of our uh, village. But in this world, he's still uh, quasi involved with the Acacia Dragoons, and we'll find out just to what extent that is. I see, so you have met Miss Riddell and Glenn. Yep. I wish we had Glenn in our party, it would make it a little bit cooler. Yes, I once wielded a sword as a proud member of the Acacia Dragoons. Glenn's father, Gray, the blacksmith Zappa, and I used to tear up the battlefield. That's right, Zappa. But that was a good 15 years ago. When Gray lost his life on the central continent, I have vowed to become his son's guardian. I officially retired four years ago after Dario received his father's sword, the Einlanser. I've been here ever since, living a carefree life away from the rest of the world. However, Dario is no longer with us. Life is so unpredictable. It was then that Lynx approached General Viper. He spoke of the legendary treasure, the Frozen Flame, which is able to heal all illness and fulfill any dreams. I do not know what this man Lynx is plotting, but I believe General Viper intends to overthrow the nation of Pori with the power of this legendary flame. Pori is a warring nation that uh, you actually come in contact with in... Uh, Chrono Trigger. Four is a nation governed by military militarism and has brought on suffering to many people on the central continent of Azenin. Perhaps the general invasion envisions a bright and peaceful world, much like uh, Guardia was at one time. I don't know Guardia is. Or he is planning to find the answer as to why we have continued to hurt and kill each other since the, uh, some word. In any case, I no longer wish to involve myself in any conflicts. Besides, there's no way I would want to face General Viper in battle. Young one, should you plan to engage in battle with Lynx, beware. He is a fearsome man. I suggest you rest here for the night and leave in the morning. There are many cursed spirits wandering the seas around here. Rumor has it they attack ships and suck the souls out of humans. I've heard rumors about this accursed ghost ship. What? A ghost ship? <laughs> You're trying to scare me? Don't make me laugh. Do not take the sea lightly, young lady. Mankind knows only but the land and the surface of the sea. No man can truly know what hides beneath the waves. Beneath the waves, a big portion of H.P. Lovecraft's mythos. <laughs> so much comes from below, but also from the stars. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything to loot in here. Honestly, uh, I don't think there is, but yeah, I, I believe not. Let's see what Radius has to say still. Take care of yourselves. Very, very kind words. Um, now we do actually need to go um, and uh, do something with... This is very important, by the way, right here. Ground here is hot. Vegetation won't be able to grow here. Why does it specifically tell us vegetation? That's odd. So that is very important. Uh, we will get to that later, however. Uh, so before going into this mist right here, what we want to do is we want to come back around to the back entrance of Viper Manor. Because I've spoken multiple times that there is a trap element, and that is for the element Freefall. A very powerful, very powerful uh, black innate. Uh, so we're going to come try to snag it. And like I said, we would have come this way had we used Guile uh, as our means into Viper Matter, but since we used Mickey, um, we kind of missed out on this initially. Uh, so let's just uh, get on over. You see how the water flows there? We're going to let this knock us off so it'll knock us right down to that treasure chest. And we got a tablet. I believe I know exactly where the free fall is, which should be on the top left-ish section of this area. 
but we might as well try to, you know, do the whole completionist thing. So you want to let this water pass, and apparently we were too low, or too high, I should say, sorry. Uh, that's a wee bit annoying, but, you know, whatever. So what we'll do this time is we'll just kind of mount it right there. Oh crap, I did not mean to move. All right. I apologize, guys. Uh, after a bad day, my coordination seems to be a bit jumpy. And go, 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 go! Yeah, we made it. We made it. And if we do get into these combats, they're going to be terribly weak against us because we are just far stronger. These things do not scale in this game. They are what they are. Which is, I think fair. Um, so we're just going to kind of raffle stomp over these uh, cool cats. Oof. See what I mean? I'm glad we hit, and now I can just show off Photon Beam. And uh, the new element we got. It's like Photon Ray, just uh, bigger, pretty much. See? It's got like a big Kamehameha as opposed to a uh, small Kamehameha. <laughs> I guess Photon Ray actually looks a lot like the Kamehameha that Goku first learns to do against Bulma's car. Uh, well, that one looks like what uh, he learns to do at a much older age. Uh, we got a lot of magma bombs. No, don't really want those to be completely honest with you, but um, whatever. So I think this is what leads to free fall, but it's been a bit. Oh, actually, I don't think it's. I think it's way up top of the top left. Yeah, we got meteor. See, I did say the top left. I was just at the wrong top left. So let's uh, skid out on down. That thing that's rolling around up top. Um, if we pass its region. Uh, when it's out, it will attack us, and we are trying to avoid some combats here because they're just really weak, so what's the point? Well, I guess the point is we can qualify for that um, minor, mini level. So that would actually be a really good idea. But whatever. Um, there's going to be a lack of that in this playthrough because I just don't want to bore you guys with it. Uh, and all honesty, this is not really a game where you need to grind anyway. Um, the star levels tend to be enough. Uh, to, to begin with, in all reality. Uh, sure, it would make things a little more challenging if all you've done is star leveling, but it's definitely uh, something that can get you through. Yeah, she hits far softer than Surge does, as we just saw. Uh, that's okay. Her, two, her three was actually weaker than Surge's two, which is kind of sad. I believe they do both have iron weapons. Uh, so we're going to want to avoid that, obviously. And I think we can just keep our own going. And hey, we avoided that thing, so this should be free fall. Or trap free fall. What do you know? That it was. That, uh, that downward looking thing is what tells us that it's a trap. And I do want to actually get uh, pushed off. I thought it would take us further. That would be one of those big cascading... Uh, Poles that just keep going, going to get us to a lower level. But that's alright. So we're gonna get on out of here. Oh no, I believe it'll be this one. There's not one up here. Oh well. So we're gonna get on out of here. We got what we wanted. Uh, we're gonna take a shortcut by doing that, do that, and do this. I do like this tune. Like there are a lot of treasure boxes that we did not get, and that's okay because uh, the kind of things that we've kind of outleveled or essentially found elsewhere. So you see, that didn't take very long, just a couple of minutes. Oh, okay, that's how we would have gotten up there. By the way, there's a shallow path, uh, but that's all right. We don't we don't need those items per se. Uh, this is a a walkthrough of sorts, but it's. Um, it's not a wasteful walkthrough, I, should, I, I would think I'd like to say it that way. Uh, we're not going to do things that just aren't beneficial to us at all. So the thick fog makes visibility near zero. Pull back now or head in the fog? We're tough, we're going to head in the fog. And it looks like we found a big boat. That's pretty cool. Some really big goers. Really big goers. 
Sneezing time. Could this be the ghost ship? I don't know. Could it? Well, what are you waiting for? You're right. We won't be able to navigate on a boat. Our boat in this fog. Okay. Do the ship, Brian. Ah. Man, I just absolutely love this game. Oi! This is really a ghost ship. It's all that noise. Ooh. Arm pirates. That's a lot. That's a lot. Who are ya? Make way for Captain Fargo! The other character that can steal in this game. So it's Kid, Mel, and Fargo. Arr, you seem to be a bit young for one of Link's subordinates. Well, who cares? What do you want from us? That's up to you. But first things first. What is your intention? I don't, don't play stupid. We know what you're trying to get to Mount Pyre. We saw General Viper and Lynx's ships anchored nearby. Are you trying to deliver them a message? Is that it? That's a load of bull. We don't work for him. We're out to get him. Get in our way and I'll kick your asses so hard you'll kiss the moons. Uh, are you serious? Explain yourselves. And we cut to black where we were like, here's a big story about what's going on. And I'm from another world and I'm dead in this one. And blah, blah, blah. I see. So that explains why you're after Lynx. Yep. But don't you know you're risking your lives? Don't you recognize the dangers associated with Lynx? He's a monster, a cold-blooded monster, an incarnation of death. Hey, my accent changed for them. To be frank with you, we've had our share encounters with Lynx too. But that was a long, long time ago. Ever since then, we've had to disguise ourselves as this ghost ship. So in other words, Lynx put this man down. So you're gonna face Lynx, huh? That's easy to say, but cut the crap and get to the point. Arr, bring out... Bring out our you-know-what. Aye, aye, Captain Fargo. I just want to see if you youngsters can match up to the likes of Lynx. Just make sure you're not in all talk. Looks like they're ready. Let's see what you can do. I don't remember what we're fighting. I know there's another fight, but I don't know what this one is. I think it might be Man of War people. And it is. Yay, all right. Slishity slash. I've actually missed on that 99% chance before, it's kind of embarrassing in all honesty. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to steal from this one in the middle, or this one I guess, whichever one you know wants me to attack. Um, I'm not gonna save state because I'm not all that worried. But we got it anyways, we had faith. And we got gravity blow, I, I do like that one. We'll start using that in the, in the near future. Uh, we'll get a black elemental character in our party. And wow, I missed this. Good on you, Lena. Good, I am so proud. Okay, I'm actually proud of Surge. That was fantastic. Yeah, let's just poke it there. Yeah, now we'll have the cover all. And even though no one really took much damage at all, but hey, might as well be capped off, right? I do know that we have more fights coming. I think I'm gonna name this episode. I'm on a boat. You know the low land boys. Now I thought I'd be on a boat. Just loosen you up. Time to get serious. Ah, oh, he's not. Uh, Polly. Damn, does Polly want a cracker? Now I thought I'd be on a boat. It's a big, big bad water river. I don't know what. Side. And you know, it's got T-Pain and those funny guys in Lonely Island, what have you. Okay, so this thing is a red elemental, so Lena's gonna kind of be a shining star. Flap. And yes, it did exactly what you probably thought. I'm glad it attacked Surge, though, the, you know, red elemental character of our party. What a scribbity scrub. Let's 1-2-3 this honky. Why do I always miss when I try to go for the 1-2-3? Let's try to pilfer. We are going to save state this one because I would like to see what Polly has. 
I don't ever really use Kid much. I've only used her in, I think, one playthrough, so I'm just on the ceiling. Sight scope. Assume that's accuracy. Sounds fantastic. And I don't really like Fargo. Uh, he uses a sword. I tend to not like people with, that use swords, though you're going to see a huge contradiction in me um, when we get a character that I am planning to use in the final party. Oh, look at that thing. It is not looking good, but we are going to mess up its face like there is a tomorrow. Or that's going to happen. Wow. She just got one freaking shot. So, uh, let's uh, Ice Blast this crumble. Should take it out with how it's uh, teetering. Or not. That does worry me, in all honesty. Uh, is that my King of Belcher? Can we do another? No, we, we can't do anything with her. Wow, that's uh, upsetting. We're gonna 1 3 3 him. Or, I think Polly's the girl. Oh, now it's Tina. I was just wrong. It's more than Peter and Peter. Let's actually check the gen. Yes, Polly is a man. Okay. Get on you, Polly. You carry whatever name you want. And hey, let's uh let's throw a big ball of water at it. This should probably take it out. Yep. Good damage. Good damage. Or as I say, a child with you, good answer! Good answer! I mean, it's usually not a good answer. Okay, nothing, but we got recover. Ooh, we got Magma Burst. Finally, we're getting some higher level uh, red elements. That's good. Gah, 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 gah. Oh, Plasma is we'll meet again, is what he said. Okay. Arr, stronger than I expected. You got my blood boiling. I'm next. Okay. I think Fargo's an older dude, like in his 40s or 50s, and think about the context of how this uh, game is set, it's obviously not going to have as long of a life expectancy as uh, we are in today's world. So, you know, people aren't going to be living to 80 on average, though Radius has apparently proven us, us wrong on that. But you expect, you know, a, a certain level of, uh, I don't want to say, lesser length. So let's definitely try to steal from him. Um, really wish we could have, I'm gonna save state that, really wish we could have, um, equipped Magma Burst, but oh well, man, good job, kid. Really? Well, I'm gonna undo that, see if maybe there's something else to steal, because that was a whole lot of crap for what I deem to be a rather important character. I'm gonna undo the save state, and we're just gonna try to steal this a little weaker. Don't know if that'll affect a single thing. I really don't, folks, but I'm hoping, in all honesty. Strength, and I would, re I really want to get some debuff uh, elements. I do like using those as a kid. I never used those, but as I got older, I've uh, matured in my playstyles. I should say. Wow, good job, so you suck. I want to say I've matured in my playstyles. Don't crit her. It's rude. For the most part, I have. And we'll just get the steel out of the way. Capsule the capsule, capsule. Better than nothing. Yeah, that's what we're gonna get. That's cool. Oh, I was like, why is he doing so much damage to her? Because she kid is a blue element. So we're gonna have Surge resurrect her because I didn't heal her in time like a, a jerk. And a good hit. Hit up level five. I want to say Lena has the other recover all, but maybe not. Oh, okay, go ahead and hit Lena. That's fine. It's not okay. She's so low health. Yeah, I did nothing to her though. Let's find out if Kid has it. She doesn't. She is gonna smack him in the face with the fireball. I mean, Surge hasn't used his recover also. We'll have Lena attack uh, a little bit. 
Oh, that was good. This uh, Surge can build up his stamina again. Ooh, this is one of my favorites. One of my absolute favorites. Check that out. And I believe it'll die, so I'm glad we have that save state. So we are going to load that back up. Uh, but we're going to treat it a little differently. We're going to have Kid heal herself. Man, that is, that is so hacky. I don't normally do that kind of stuff. But, oh, I've never really played this with a save state, so that is a different opportunity, I should say. That's that. Punch him, punch him. I'm going to use an element with Nina. Oh yeah, she's got Photon Beam. Actually, I wonder if we can poison this guy. That's always a good shot. We did not. Doesn't mean we can, but we did not. Nothing for now. For now. I want to keep that recover all handy in case it's going to use Carnivore again. I want to say he's using it on her again. I wonder if we're going to do the same strategy. It would be interesting to note that the strategy might not have any randomness to it. It might be um, set states kind of thing. Oh wait, is he poison? I saw something in the corner. Yeah, we, yeah that guy's poison. That is Fargo is poison. That is fantastic. I wish it would show us how much damage we do. But alas, it doesn't, so we're gonna smack him in the face with the photon beam. That's good stuff, man. That's good stuff. Heornivore! That is one of my one of the cooler spells in my opinion. Uh, so we're going to try to take him out, actually. Oh no, we can't do that. Though. What other thing does he have on? It's fatigue. I don't know what that does. I'm going to assume it makes you build uh, uh, resources, or stamina slower. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, I hope that was a boss fight. And it wasn't, but we got a mini level up. That's cool. Rich, you got strength. Come on, get some magic. Get some magic. Son of a monkey, really. I don't need her to have that much strength. It's ridiculous. I'm not photon beings up the wazoo. I wish we'd get carnivore from him. Not bad. But keep in mind, we be pirates. Hmm? What happened? Search! It's a tranquilizer made from jellyfish stingers. You lovers will sleep for a while. That's rude. Hope they don't rape us. Well, that's that. Ah, uh, stick these landlubbers in the hold. Well, better than throwing us overboard, I say. So I'm not gonna name this episode "I'm on a boat." I'm gonna name the next episode "I'm on a boat." I think. We'll see. We'll see. This is cool. Why do we keep having visions of a leopard or a jaguar? I'm sorry. Are you alright, Serge? You don't look well. I'm not. Be on your guard. There's something going on outside. But what could it be? I would say, is Mexico invading the Valley of Grace? Oh my god, it'd be so tasty. Ooh, I'll stand and watch. Ain't easy. I grew up right on the border of Mexico and Southern California. Man, their food. I live in Colorado now. It's just not the same. What's up with the fog today? You can't even see the water out there. Uh, I ain't scared. And also, you hear people say, oh, Mexicans are lazy. Who, who were you talking about? The Mexicans I knew were like the hardest working people I've ever met in my life. So, whenever, if you ever hear someone say, ah, oh, if you ever hear someone say, oh, Mexicans are lazy, be like, maybe you mean this generation of Mexicans when you're like, I'm in my 20s. But that's not this. That's just, just our generation is lazy. I mean, I'm up, I'm up at one in the morning playing Chrono Cross. Come on, something's up. That crewman looks different, fellas. That crewman looks different. Sorry, gonna off on a racial rant. I just, I just hate intolerance in all honesty. It pisses me off. I, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's like, what's the, what's the point? You know? So what if their skin color is different, their culture has uh, 
let me phrase this: if you're a, if you're white and you're talking about a non-white, so what if they actually have a culture? Because your basic American white doesn't really have culture. We just don't. Our our culture is so random. You know, you've got the South, you've got California, you've got New York, you've got Boston, and everyone in those in each of those places have a very distinct culture that is what I've seen prevalent in white community. Some's really good. Like I went down to Texas a few months ago for a business trip and the food down there. Oh my god, it was amazing. Some of the greatest fried chicken in my life made by white people and I have Oh I can't have fried chicken anymore, man. I'm I was so spoiled. What are those monsters doing here? What's going on? And why are we poisoned? I guess carnivore poisoned us. That's rude as all hell. I'm glad we got all these antidotes, yo. So guys, I'm going to call the episode here. We are going to uh, start off again on the next episode of Chrono Cross. Thanks for watching. I've been Soul Christ. I still am, to be honest, but I will be again. Uh, please like and subscribe and share this with your friends, and I will see you on the next episode. Thanks so much, everyone.